there seems to be a lot of criticism against the United States government right now as to how this case has been handled. Can you respond to that? Well, actually, from day one, we've tried to uh, adhere to everything that he's asked of us. Uh, we've long admired him. We've long admired the struggle and his courage, uh, concerned about the abuse that he's uh, endured in his village. And so when we got the word that he was in Beijing wanting to talk to us, uh, in the wee hours of the morning, we went out and contacted him. And then we uh, engineered almost a, a maneuver out of Mission Impossible to bring him in uh, to the embassy, provided all the medical care that he needed. But from day one, he said that he wanted to stay in China. He was not interested in going to the United States, uh, that he wanted to be reunified with his family, and that he wanted an investigation of the abuses that he had suffered, he and his family had suffered in the village. And so we were constantly putting together proposals to the Chinese government to meet his objectives out, uh, and to meet all of his priorities. At one point, we thought we had presented something that met with his uh, desires, and he rejected it, and he said no. And he said he was fully prepared to stay in the embassy for years, for, uh, for many, many years, if necessary. Uh, then he came back and, and um, told us that why can't the Chinese just uh, do something first as a sign of good faith? Why must I trust them uh, to do various things after I leave the embassy? So we the criticism that's being leveled against the U.S. government about how this case has been handled. Well, we actually feel very confident that what we, oh, is that, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, you want to? So, uh, there seems to be a lot of criticism against the United States government right now as to how this case has been handled. Can you respond to that? Well, actually, from day one, we've tried to uh, adhere to everything that he's asked of us. Uh, we've long admired him. We've long admired the struggle and his courage, uh, concerned about the abuse that he's uh, endured in his village. And so when we got the word that he was in Beijing wanting to talk to us, uh, in the wee hours of the morning, we went out and contacted him. And then we uh, engineered almost a, a maneuver out of Mission Impossible to bring him in uh, to the embassy, provided all the medical care that he needed. But from day one, he said that he wanted to stay in China. He was not interested in going to the United States, uh, that he wanted to be reunified with his family, and that he wanted an investigation of the abuses that he had suffered, he and his family had suffered in the village. And so we were constantly putting together proposals to the Chinese government to meet his objectives out, uh, and to meet all of his priorities. At one point, we thought we had presented something that met with his uh, desires, and he rejected it, and he said no. And he said he was fully prepared to stay in the embassy for years, for, uh, for many, many years, if necessary. Uh, then he came back and, and um, told us that why can't the Chinese just uh, do something first as a sign of good faith? Why must I trust them uh, to do various things after I leave the embassy? So we went back to the Chinese and, uh, and he said, why can't they bring the family uh, from the village to the hospital first so that I can know that they're safe, so I can talk to them on the phone, and if after that conversation I'm satisfied, I will leave the embassy and, and rejoin them. Uh, but we were able to get the Chinese government to uh, offer an unprecedented package of, of uh, care for him, family reunification. He hadn't seen a son in, in over two years. They were going to give him a full scholarship at one of seven universities of his choosing with full housing and living expenses for him and his family, uh, and they would conduct an investigation of the abuses uh, that he had suffered. And he, he, he uh, talked with his wife uh, twice, uh, and then uh, made that uh, decision on his own uh, to come out of the embassy and to rejoin the family. I remember asking him uh, in front of many, many witnesses, are you ready to leave? Is this what you want to do? And he just paused and sat there uh, very quiet for several minutes and then just jumped up, beaming, excited, and says, let's go. And even before we went, uh, got into the van uh, with doctors and other personnel there, um, I asked him again, are you sure you want to do this? Do you want to leave the embassy? And he said, yes. We provided cell phones. He talked to his lawyer. He says, I'm going to the hospital. Uh, he uh, wanted to talk to one of the media people. Uh, and um, uh, so we, all along, were trying to comply with his wishes. Yet he is saying now that he was pressured to leave the U.S. Embassy and remain in China. No, he, uh, he always said, 
He wanted to stay in China. He even said that, I think, on the video, and even uh, many other activists that he was in contact with before he came into the embassy indicated that his desire was never to come to the United States. He wanted to stay in China to be an activist, to be a freedom fighter. Then how do we explain that he is now saying to every single member of the media that will listen that he wants to be on a plane with Hillary, he wants uh, the president and Hillary to basically come to his rescue? How do you explain that now? Well, obviously uh, it's apparent that he must have had some sort of change of heart and we need to sit down with him uh, and talk with him and his family, discuss uh, what it is that he wants and discuss all the options and we'll take it from there. You have just said that you were preparing to take care of him in some way for years to come. Does that not sound like asylum? Uh, no, uh, asylum actually means that uh, you uh, uh, go to the United States. Uh, but you would be taking care of him. I mean, that's it. That's yes. Uh, at one point, that was his wish. And we were more than, uh, we have an obligation to uh, satisfy his wish once he's in the embassy. Uh, he did not want to go to the United States. And so the choice was, uh, to help him get back into China to be a freedom fighter as he wanted, or if the conditions, uh, the negotiations with the Chinese government were not to his satisfaction, he was prepared to stay in the embassy and live there for possible years. He is saying now that he feels abandoned by the U.S. government. We have always been there with him. Uh, again, uh, we went out using extraordinary measures to pick him up uh, and bring him into the embassy. Uh, if he had stayed in the embassy, uh, his family still would have been in the village where they have suffered abuse. And uh, so he was always focused on family reunification, moving away from the village, starting a new life with a college education, and an investigation of uh, the abuses that he suffered. We were able to secure that for him. At one point when he did not feel uh, that he could trust the government, the assurances were not sufficient, the elements of the proposal were not sufficient, he said no. And we were prepared to carry out his wishes and we started talking about internally uh, what must the embassy do to provide a permanent place of residence for him in essence. Uh, what type of me, uh, contact will he have, uh, uh, where will he stay, uh, exercise and, and everything else. What are you doing for him now? Well, our doctors have, uh, have been conferring with his doctors uh, today. Uh, they're scheduled to, uh, to uh, visit him uh, tomorrow. Uh, Are you trying to meet his needs? He's making enormous requests now. Are well, you trying to find out how to settle this in some way? Well, again, uh, his wife actually came out of the hospital today to meet uh, with my deputy. Uh, we've had our embassy personnel have had two conversations with him today in which uh, uh, they've indicated to us apparently this change of heart. So we're going to have to sit down with him uh, at length and really dis discuss with him what it is that he and his family want uh, and to discuss the options.